If your computer is running slowly, it's time to think about upgrading your current hard drive to a solid state hard drive. In this video, we're going to talk you through how to do it. The new breed of solid state hard drives are so much quicker than, than the old mechanical hard drives. If your computer is not running that quickly and you've optimised Windows using all the usual repair methods, it's time to think about putting a solid state hard drive into your computer and you're going to notice instant results. So I've got an Indylinx solid state hard drive here. They're available on eBay and Amazon. Uh, I think it was about $27.99, uh, that's UK pounds, probably about $40 for 240 gigabytes. Uh, you can get them bigger, they do get quite expensive. This is good enough for most needs. And when you take the hard drive out of the package, and you're going to notice that it's extremely lightweight, beautiful to look at. And, we, and next we're going to put it into our computer. So what you'll need is your solid state hard drive, and you also need an external hard drive reader, like one of these. You'll need to put the solid state drive into the external reader, and then we're going to clone your current hard drive on your computer onto the solid state hard drive. So you put in the operating system and all your files and a complete copy of your hard drive onto the new solid state drive, which we can then put into your computer and then away you go. So obviously every laptop's different, but we're going to take out the hard drive. Most laptops are fairly simple to, to do this. Uh, this. This particular laptop drive has got one screw here and that's it. This back comes off and you've got the hard drive out. So let's just take the screw out. Pull the back off. The hard drive's going to come out. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Old hard. Take your new solid state hard drive. Take off the caddy off here. Put it onto here. And then this here plugs into here. So we've got our solid state drive plugged in with the external hard drive reader and it's switched on and we're ready to go. So we've got Macrium installed onto the computer. This is our computer's hard drive here with the two partitions on. Uh, it's not recognising that we've got the uh, SSD drive plugged in at the moment. If that's the case, if you just click on the refresh button here, you should notice that it will appear once it's uh, taken another look at the computer for you. So this is the solid state hard drive here and we're going to transfer this hard drive, which is your current computer's hard drive, we're going to copy the whole contents of it and put it onto the new hard drive, the new solid state drive for us. And it is really simple. Click on clone this disk. The source disk is your internal hard drive of your computer and it's got both of these partitions selected here. We're going to select a disk to clone to, which is the hard drive here. We just click onto that. This is the solid state drive. And now we're going to click on next. And we're going to click on next again. Just want to check the details here. But I think we're good to go and we finish. What do you want to do now? We want to run this back up. We're going to click OK. It's now going to warn you that it's it's now warning us that the drive is going to get overwritten. And we're going to put the pointer into the box, put a little tick into it. And we're going to click on continue. The cloning process has now started. It's going to take a while, maybe a couple of hours to do, so we'll come back a bit later. So Macrium has now finished copying the hard drive. We can now unplug our solid state hard drive from the reader and it's time to put it into the computer. So let's boot it up. So this computer, which was previously an old banger, it boots up two or three minutes quicker than it did beforehand. And you've now got a computer that's working much quicker than it did before. You could make it even quicker if you were to upgrade the RAM. This has got four gigabytes in. But if I was to put another four gigabytes of RAM into this computer now, we'd have an old banger of a computer that works like a dream.